This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10. Today we're going to discuss the formal charge of carbon monoxide. Recall that formal charge is equal to the number of valence electrons minus the number of non-bonding electrons minus one-half the number of bonding electrons, or as I like to shorten that to minus the number of bonds. Here's the Lewis dot structure of carbon monoxide. Notice that carbon and oxygen are bonded through a triple bond and they each have a lone pair. To determine the formal charge of carbon, we determine the number of valence electrons that carbon started with, which is four. We subtract from it the number of non-bonding electrons, so that's going to be that lone pair, so that's minus two, minus the number of bonds, which is three. So four minus two minus three is negative one. Looking at oxygen, oxygen brings to the table six valence electrons, minus two non-bonding electrons, and also minus three bonds. It has a plus one charge. So overall, the formal charge is zero, but what's unusual with carbon monoxide is that usually the, the element with the negative formal charge is the more electronegative one, but in the case of carbon monoxide, carbon has the more negative formal charge. So how is it that carbon can have a negative formal charge and oxygen can have a positive formal charge? Formal charge really is comparing how many electrons the atom brought with it from the periodic table to how many it has now. So carbon monoxide, the entire structure, has 10 electrons. Of those 10 electrons, carbon brought to the table four of them. So it now has half of those electrons. It's got the two non-bonding electrons and one half the number of bonding electrons. So it's got five electrons now. Um, so it's got th the three bonds and the two non-bonding electrons for five. So it's actually acquired an extra electron. That's why it has a negative formal charge. Whereas oxygen brought from the table six valence electrons, and now is surrounded by five, the, the lone pair and the three bonds. So that's why it has a plus one formal charge, because it actually now has fewer electrons than what it brought. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more chemical bonding help and a free gift, go to purplebonding.com. This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10.